uh, Kareem Martin, defensive end, University of North Carolina. Uh, you know, come from North Carolina, been a three-year starter there for the last three years. Um, had a great senior season this year, you know, uh, my best statistically and, you know, I uh, wasn't the best team wise, but statistically for myself, you know, it's my better, my best year and, you know, that, that's what got me here. The biggest thing for me is my length, you know, I have uh, probably the top two, three longest arms here in the Senior Bowl and, you know, I really use that to my advantage in pass, rush, and in run, you know. So whenever you can uh, separate yourself from that line, it makes it that much easier to rip off and go make the play. And I think that's what, you know, allowed me to be so successful this uh, season, you know, because in the offseason, you know, I was just learning about myself and my body, you know, through film. And I saw that my length, you know, was a lot longer than, I, you know, the offensive lineman that I'm playing. So I used that to my advantage this year, and, you know, and it paid off. Um, well, one game in particular was the Pittsburgh game, you know. Uh, it was the best game I've ever played at uh, UNC. I had three and a half sacks. And, you know, that day that day for me was just, you know, I was on fire. You know, I couldn't be blocked that day. And I could have had a couple more, but, you know, I was just a little bit late on it. And, you know, another big moment was uh, in the bowl game where I had a sack for safety, um, you know, in the first quarter. And I feel like it was a big turnaround for the team because uh, on that ensuing kickoff, you know, we ran it back for a touchdown, giving us a nine-point swing. And you know, I think that changed the tide of the game. And, you know, allow for us to run away with it and kind of define our season, you know, that we never give up and, you know, after starting one and five and finishing seven and six, you know, it just shows what type of team we have. Uh, Chapel Hill, you know, it's a great place, you know, uh, like I said, it's a small college town and, you know, they really embrace the students and, you know, uh, some of the places I like to go, uh, it's a wrap place, uh, tortilla wrap, a restaurant called Beeskies. Uh, that's on, uh, um, on Franklin Street, which is the popular street in Chapel Hill, you know, it's just a great wraps, you know, something it's healthy, but it's also good at the same time, you know, they get great business, you know, especially on the weekends and, you know, it's just a good, a great place to hang out, you know, on a Saturday or Friday night. Uh, you know, some of my hobbies, I'm really interested in music, you know, uh, and I like all types of music and I actually tried taking up the keyboard, you know, uh, a couple years ago, but, you know, something kind of came and went, you know, maybe when I can get some lessons, you know, I'll pick it back up, but, you know, music is something that's always interested me, you know, because I always find it fascinating, you know guys can just pick up an instrument and just play play songs by ear you know it's always a talent I wish I had and you know, some people are envious of me with my physical talents and stuff but you know I'm actually envious of them you know with the things they can do with music and you know music is a timeless thing you know football's going in for me but you know guys like Mozart or you know people like that you know their music is going to last forever something that's that's something that really interesting. Ron Switzer uh, congratulations man you had a great year came a long way and now you're in the history books, tied for uh, number one punt returns. Congratulations. You know, usually it's, it's uh, when I was in school, you know, I was real low key. You know, I usually wear some UNC sweatpants and, and I like to be really comfortable unless I'm, I'm going out somewhere fancy, you know. Other than that, I'm a basketball shorts type of guy, you know, just a, any type of graphic t-shirt. You know, I like to keep it simple, you know, on a week to week basis, but I like to dress up on the weekends, you know, polos and things like that. So uh, I can clean up when I need to. Uh, just at my entire time at UNC, you know, I've faced a lot of adversity since I've been there between the coaching changes and, you know, the constant, you know, I've had six position coaches and just that change, you know, at the time, you know, it was bad, but looking back on it, you know, I think it's going to help me going to the next level, you know, this is a business and people are leaving, the, uh, getting uh, fired and stuff every day. So, you know, just already being used to that, you know, something that you know, really affects players when they lose a coach, but, you know, I've had so many of them that, you know, I understand the business that it is, you know, and I don't uh, let it affect me. Uh, you know, I'm a, it's going to be real intimate, you know. Uh, probably my mom, sister, and a few other family members, you know. And my agent will be there as well, you know. It's just something I've been working all my life towards. And, you know, I don't plan on crying, but, you know, the emotions that I'm going to have then, you know, I probably have a couple of tears flowing, you know, just because my life will change forever. And not only my life, but my family's life, you know. I'll be able to provide for them things that they may not have now. and. You know, just make the life of my family just a lot better than what it is now.